Woo! Despite my channel being a family-friendly channel with content suitable for all ages, this Let's Play series of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective has been rated T for Teen due to it featuring mild language and mild violence. So viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Welcome back to Ghost Trick <laughs> Phantom Detective, everybody. Uh, today, we're pulling a Muppets Most Wanted and breaking out of the gulag, I guess. Yeah, and we'll see how well we do because I'm a little low on energy. Oh, this is the perfect <laughs> chapter to do that. Chapter 9, infamous chapter 11, 13 p.m. This will be great. Now I'm back to the present, and it's completely shrouded in darkness. Ooh. I can't see it, but I can feel the tension in the air. It's a state of emergency. This makes me think of that do that joke for Toph, where it's like they go in the hole, it's like, Oh, it's so dark, I can't see anything! She's like, oh no, what a nightmare! <laughs> Because she's blind. And that's only that's natural. With, with the power failure, all of the cell bars opened automatically. Which is dumb. <laughs> Plus now a deaf row inmate is loose in the darkness. I did what I promised Lynn. I stopped the execution. But that condemned criminal is now in just as much danger as before. Trick time. Okay. Here we go. That's We're what at said. the spoon. The detective told me to head for the spoon as soon as I got back to the present. So here I am. The bell! Better go back! <laughs> Whew! I'm back. Thank goodness someone has flushed that toilet. <laughs> that was good timing. Now to use the cover of darkness to help the detective escape. But first I have to find him. It's prisoner C-74! Secure the prisoner! What? Hmm, it looks like there are hunters in this darkness. How'd they get them that quickly? It's just the policemen, but they oh, put on different gear. Okay. I hope they haven't found Detective Jowd. Oh, Trick no. time. You know what I just realized? This is gonna be like Winnie the Pooh uh, in um, Piglet's Big Game, where you're running around from the heffalumps or whatever. This is gonna Not be way exactly harder like than that. that, but it's gonna be similar. Yes, compare this to Piglet's Big Game, a game <laughs> nobody has played. This is some true darkness, but luckily, darkness doesn't exist in the ghost world. I can make use of that fact to help me find the detective. Well, let's look for the... Oh, hang on. See if we can dial the phone. I'm pretty sure they're offline. But if we can go back to the guard room. It's no use. The internal phones don't work. Guess I better find another route. Oh, bit. Oh, oh yeah. I was like, we can't get there. What happened? Wait, what? Huh? What's that red light? Hmm, it looks like the hunter's eyes glow red. Okay. Dang it. Doesn't look like escape is going to be easy. Talking. Oh, there you are! I was wondering what I was going to do. Are you the one who made that toilet doll rain? That's right! I still had another napkin lying around. Thanks to that, I managed to make it here. But how did you know how to do that? I learned a few things about your our, your ghost tricks during our time together. They certainly can be very useful powers, but at times, not so much. I knew that if the internal phones weren't working, you'd be trapped in the death chamber area. So I quickly came up with an alternative route. A route that made use of Sausage Head's spoon and my napkin. Wow, this detective is good. Next time you praise me, go ahead and say it out loud. Anyway, it looks like it's time for a strategy meeting. An escape strategy, huh? <laughs> this could be interesting. Let's do it. Escape strategy. So let's make sure we're both clear. The key to my escape is this darkness. Once the basement power supply is restored, escape will be impossible. So we have like a limited amount of time, probably. So we move under the cover of darkness, huh? I know I won't have much trouble with that. I mean, the game doesn't really pass time unless it has to, so... <laughs> but I'm afraid I won't be able to see, so you'll have to lead the way. 
lead the way? Oh, no. That's gonna be the thing that's gonna be hard where it's like, well, I saw this, like, paper napkin move. Uh, you'll see. Once you find a safe spot for you, me to move to, I want you to give me a signal. Okay, fine, but how? The dead don't have voices. Even if they did, we have to be quiet. Don't you worry about that. I have an idea. Let's just try it, and you'll see how it works. This detective likes to just dive right into things, even more than Lynn does. I just realized, he looks like a fat... Yeah, wait, what is his name? He looks like a fat Phoebus. From Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember any character in Hercules named Phoebus. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah, I was thinking about his actual name. Captain Phoebus. Yeah. It appears you will be executed by electric chair. <laughs> Hunchback of Notre Dame meets a goofy movie. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> If they find me, I imagine they'll shoot first and I ask questions later. I think it's because of later. the voice, and also the look. Um, okay. <laughs> but if I die again, we can just start over, right? He says cheerfully. I don't know if you know it or not, but this is a special prison. Ooh. There aren't any dangerous criminals here. <laughs> Except for me, that is. Yes, I did hear something about it being a special place. Yes, and because of the special status, they're not prepared at all for emergencies. They have four timid security guards, at most. I think I saw some hunters lurking in the darkness, though. Those are the guards. They're wearing night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? They're special glasses that let you see in the dark. Very handy things. If I enter their vis field of vision, it's all over. Like, so it's all about staying out of the guard's line of sight, eh? So I guess it's more like Tigger's portion, where he can't be in the Stop comparing this to a terrible <laughs> Winnie the Pooh game that nobody's playing! It's, yeah, it is terrible. <laughs> Let's make sure you guide me to the safe spots. So this is going to involve a lot of looking around. Okay. Seeing where the hunters go. Now about that signal I want you to give me. Oh yeah, how am I supposed to do it? I've already been dead once. I don't know if it's because of that or what, but I can sense your powers now. Y you what? For example, you're in the bunk right now, aren't you? Wow, I'm impressed. I guess you have a sixth sense. I think it's more like a detective sense. Uh, that doesn't sound right somehow. Anyway, the details don't matter. Do you see the Joud icon here? Yeah, where did that come from? Let's use it as our signal. How will that work? If you touch the Joud icon, I'll sense it. Then I'll move to where you are. So, for example... If you move to that spoon and touch the Joud icon, I'll run to the spoon. Simple, right? Alright, fine. Let's start our escape plan. <laughs> Just make sure you guide me to safe spot, Sissel. <laughs> Trick time. Yeah. Oh, wait. So, that red light. That's the light of the night vision goggles on one of the guards. I can use the light to let me know where the guard is. And if you watch the light closely, you can tell how the guard is moving, too. Very informative in this darkness. Keep a sharp eye out for it. Because remember, we can go to the ghost world to see in the dark, but we can't move the camera while we're in the ghost world. Okay, so he turned around. So, okay. Again, I don't remember exactly how to do this, so I can help out if you... The phase through the wall. That's what you should do. Ooh, wait. The hatch mechanism. Open. What did that do? It just opened the hatches there. Oh, can this guy walk through and fall in? Possibly. <laughs> eh, we'll leave it. I might have to restart anyway. Um, yeah. Believe me, nobody does this on their first try. Nobody. Hide in the toilet, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, you probably want him to move to the other bunk so he can run and duck under it like he is on the one he's on there okay. right now. But don't just press it now. Okay, so go back. Go back. No, no, no. I mean, stay on the bunk, but hit the back button. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over to the camera, wait for the guard to be facing away. Oh. So, he's facing there. As soon as he turns away, click the job icon. Yeah. I didn't realize it worked like that. Yeah. Wow. See how it works? Yeah. Oh, that guy's pointing a gun right at us. <laughs> you didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, nothing suspicious happening here. The guards are on the move. Now what? You can get a sense of how the guards are moving by watching the red lights. Yeah, whatever. And I think you already know this, but just in case, if you want to take a look around, you can slide the screen. We and if I recall correctly, I can use the D-pad to do the same thing. 
Get yeah. inside his okay. bulletproof vest. <laughs> Run to the guard. Don't. No. Possess his bulletproof vest, but let him walk away. You can work it out. Keep on to move. He, I think he might move far. Keep. You can let him move a little farther. Than that. You can ring the bell. Please don't. <laughs> she shoots the bell. But... I want to. <laughs> Fine, try it. I bet he won't even react to it. Oh. What's this hole? Oh, he's finding the escape tunnel now. Go to Ghost World. <laughs> Flush him down the toilet. <laughs> That's not how that works. So yeah, hey. Oh, he's looking in the hole so you could move Jout across if you find a way. Don't make him run to the bulletproof vest, though. <laughs> That'd be bad. Oh, oh, hey. There's the, the uh, like, sprinkler system up there. The valve. That's the word for it. <laughs> oh. Open sesame. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing really well for your first time. Holy cow. I'm that good. No. Um, so it's open down there now? Yeah, it is. What do you mean? Yeah, it's open on the top and the bottom. Okay, I'm going to wait for him to walk over. Wait, what are you doing? He, I, th I think he's going to walk back up the stairs. Yeah. Aw. Oh, shucks. Shucksy doodles. Because I wanted to get through that hole. Which hole? Through there. Oh, no, wait, you, There's no not oh open? oh the one to the tunnel that the guy was making yeah oh no you can't go there not that you would want to we want to close it <laughs> that's the wastebasket that's the toilet the toilet I think if you leave it open he'll just keep walking through it like, ah! <laughs> over and over again <laughs> which is fine it's funny yeah. I'm trying to think of a safe spot you could put Joe. Yeah, I know. It won't be like you run out of time and then... Wait, they're both going up there. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, leave the hatch door shut then. Hey, Detective Joe, run to the bell. Maybe he'll hide in the tunnel. Nope, he's being a stupid idiot. <laughs> Maybe he'll hide in the tunnel. <laughs> well, nobody's coming over here, so it's fine. <laughs> this is not good. Because <laughs> both of the... They're going up there, and the sh the thing's shut, so... Okay, that's true. We're gonna hit go. He's <laughs> 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 like, oh, I'm dead! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is so dead. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to open the valve so they all fall on top of each other. I'm gonna have to restart anyway. <laughs> You're... What? You want me to climb up into the ceiling? <laughs> no! I think I can manage that. But as feet stand, I don't have access right now. Could you open that hatch and create an entry point for me? No! <laughs> How does the guard not see him? <laughs> okay, open the- open up. No, you have to open the I freaking hatch! hatch for... Oh, I hit the wrong button! Sorry, sorry. Mar there this he is! is on him. You're, you, you literally shoved the gun through his face and then shot him. <laughs> It's no use! Their eyes are everywhere! I can't catch a break! Then you'll have to make one. Try to find a way. Maybe you can find something to distract them with. Hmm, he's right. Just calling the detective to me isn't the only thing I can do <laughs> He walked here. one step forward into the guy's gun. <laughs> Trick time! Oh yeah, I know you're back at the beginning. No, oh, that's cool. No. <laughs> Close the book. Yeah, I can't remember. I don't think they give you any checkpoints in this, which is well. annoying. You didn't do too bad. No, that's true. All right, so you remember, you gotta make him. You gotta wait. Nope. You pushed the wrong button. Thankfully, that's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. What? Do oh, that one. That one, <laughs> that one now. Jeez, Marty, they're, they're free <laughs> buttons. That's it. <laughs> this is why I suck at Metroid Prime, by the way. Before you have to use every button on the GameCube controller, yeah. Also, I just suck at Metroid Prime anyway. Um, okay. Guards suck. Vest. 
We don't care about that. <laughs> we want to have him look in the toilet again, I'm pretty sure. Okay. What you want to do is, yeah, you're going to want the, this guard to look through the toilet. Uh, you're going to want to shove the other guard out of the ceiling. Probably not necessarily in that <coughs> order. <coughs> Sorry. Um, okay. Yeah, that guy's just staying there. Yeah, I think he's we not want moving. Him so to here's stay the thing: you bit. need the hatches to be open, and then if you say go to the valve jowd, he'll climb up through the ceiling through the open hatches. Oh. Like I okay yeah like I said, Jowd can do a lot of stuff that you're like wait what he can do that is he a superhuman? Is he? So wait, Tylee? did we want to have this happen before this? No, probably not. Because what you want to do is you want... This guy needs to fall through the ceiling. He'll climb up the stairs. As he's climbing up the stairs, you want Jowd to be there so he can climb up through the ceiling before the guard goes into the, uh, okay. the crawl space. Oh, we have to die. We can't go back in time. Oh, well. <laughs> Just a box. <laughs> Alright, keep it, go on to the bell. And wait for a little bit. I'll check it out tomorrow. Okay. Now go to the valve. That's not the valve. That's the valve. And try some. Try summoning Jowd. What? Told you. Okay. Oh, you gotta be fast. You gotta be real fast now. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Shut it. Oh my gosh, this is going to be tight. Yeah, you're going, <laughs> you're going to need to... Okay, I think you're going to need to shut it. Then quickly possess the valve. Okay. Have him go there. Okay. And then open the hatch so the guy falls through Okay, it. I need to hit close, trick, ghost. Yes. Somehow he has... Oh, wait a second. No, no, no. Oh. The staircase leads up to the top of the hatch, so you're in the crawl space right now, and he's not. Oh! Okay, yeah, that's better. Well, All we right. also needed that anyway. Okay, yeah, so now this is the through. weird part. Okay, so, yeah, go to the valve, go to the valve, and now hit, uh, Jowd button. Watch what happens. What? <laughs> Do a barrel roll! He's Kirby. <laughs> yeah! Um, well, we oh, probably actually, should oh. let him sit st Oh, wait. okay. Should we make him fall through again? Yeah, totally. Because Jout is safe now no, from it. Stop! I don't want to talk to you. Could have just possessed the hatch mechanism from the first thing. Oh. Come oh on. well. <laughs> you almost screwed <laughs> up the button again. I'm bad at buttons, apparently. <laughs> apparently. Okay. Now, this is going to be really weird. Have him go to the wastebasket. Okay. It seems impossible, but watch. Okay, maybe that's the wrong button. Dry going, not to... Uh, no, no, no. Up to the, the, the hatch mechanism, yeah. To say, Jowd, go there. It's closed. It, shouldn't it be open? Or should it be closed? No. It's open right I now. I know. Say, go there. Um. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, that took ages. If I move now, I'm going to fall. Could you close the floor hatch for me? Oh, right. Close it. Wait, what? Where's the... <laughs> Where is he? he? There was no guard. That's complete bullcrap. <laughs> Came all this way. We were so close. Right. Once we get to this point, we can either sneak out or make a dash for it. I'll leave the route up to you, but I've mentioned this before, but I can go pretty much anywhere. Yeah, like literally. That took me ages because I'm like, well, he couldn't possibly go up there. No, he can. Uh, fine. <laughs> How about you let me catch up to where we were? Fine. Do it. <laughs> What's this hole? You moron! I told you go up! Uh, this is not good. <laughs> He's mid-jump. <laughs> Let's shut that. Alright, dude. Go back to the safety of the bed. Oh, shoot. I can't go to the bed. Just hit ring again. I can't. It It's stuck. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Uh -huh. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jowd, I need you to hurry up, man. I need you to go there. <laughs> okay, that was worth it. <laughs> the 
I fell on job. <laughs> I can't seem to find the break! <laughs> wow. Try calling me dolls. I'm agreeable. I could go pretty much anywhere. Wow. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you do it, because apparently I'm worse. <laughs> this is great. Do, 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 nobody noticed me. I'm Detective Joe. <laughs> oh, that's right. Now you close the hatch. I keep forgetting he has to crawl up from the right side. Blam! Beautiful. We'll check it out tomorrow. Okay. So, <laughs> so before... Okay, yeah. Roll. Okay, before we do anything else, I need to check. Is there like a guard? No! There was no guard last time! Alright. Okay, so... Open it again? What are you doing? I was gonna let Jow go for the hatch as just a laugh, but no, I'm not doing that. Okay, don't do that. Okay, I want to check up here. There's a guard? There's a guard there, and then there's the guard pacing back and forth. Alright. We'll wait for him to pace that way, and then we'll go like, Whoosha! Okay, where's that guy? Okay, he's going downstairs, cool. So, ghost, 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 ghost. Open the hatch. Drop the guard down. Always do the upper one, you're too late. Alright, wait for the guard to come back. Er, cl yeah, wait for the guard to come back. No, open the hatch. He'll just walk through the hatch when it's open. Let's hope he doesn't see him, me on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, if you try closing the hatch as a guard is falling through it, what are you doing? Oh, uh, that's right, I have to go b through and up it. Yeah. <laughs> open it again. Wait for the guard to come back, because apparently the guard's really like, Oh, there he is, even though I'm not on screen. <laughs> if, uh, okay, if you can't, wait, let me, let me. What? He's going through it. Here goes. He's about to jump over it. He's on it. Now he's falling through it. Okay. There you go. Booyah. Just like that. Okay. Okay. Now... I move now, I'm gonna fall. Can you close the hatch for me? Run. Okay. I'm trying to... F Darn it, I can't... Oh, you can use the D-pad to move as the ghost as well. Interesting. You didn't realize that. Okay. Okay. I'm actually gonna make a safe state here. Good. Because I'm sick of doing this. I don't even know where to go now. I think you should go backwards. Turn around. Okay, this is not... I can't go anywhere as Sissel. Are we supposed to go down the stairs? No, we're not supposed to go down the stairs. Okay, let me, let I'm me look. Because there's nowhere to go now that we're up here. Maybe we talk? No, I don't think that'll do anything. Let me open, open, the mechanism. open this again. Uh, yeah. That way, if Casey wants I bet he's going to shoot us. Yeah. Where are we supposed to go? Maybe we're supposed to go... I'm gonna see... <sighs> hmm. Maybe he, like, jumps through walls and we don't realize it. Somehow I doubt it. Yeah, now that we're here, there's... Oh, see, down there? We're gonna have to make him go down there. Okay. Okay, so Gun open the hatch head. again. Yeah. Backtracking seems kind of pointless now that we've come this far. Besides, real men keep their eyes forward and proceed with confidence and safety. Fine. Alright, fine. Let's... I wonder, can we just do... What if we do something like that? Oh, come on! How are we supposed to go okay, forward with me... this? Bro! Oh. And guard was nowhere and still managed Bro. to shoot us. There's another thing down here, see? Yeah, we can't reach that, though. But what if we make him go over there? So I, we can't I already reach. did that. You can't possess Jowd and jump from him. I thought maybe you could. Nope. Maybe we talk to him. Uh, I feel a little uncomfortable out in the open like this. I bet you do. You're wide open. Well, could you lead me to some place safe, then? The guards can't help but notice me where I am now. Okay. 
How about we move to the wastebasket? Nope. Yeah, see? Like, there's nowhere to go. He won't, he won't go back in the air duct. Maybe we weren't supposed to go up. But we can't go back down. He's like, backtracking is stupid now that we've made it this far. Well, what the heck? We have to be able to go up there. You can't. There's no but, way to get up there. But we, there must be. Show me then. I don't know. I'm just like... <sighs> yeah, like... I don't remember- I remember you being able to possess something up here well, and just being like, Jow would run for it. But no, he's like... Here's the thing. I'm, I'm almost wondering if you're not unit. supposed to go up, and if instead you're supposed to go here and then keep rolling that way. Well, you can't possess anything that way either. Okay. I can't do that. Dang it. Go back. And there's a guard over there anyways. Okay. Where are you supposed to go? I told you, this is Maybe, the worst puzzle let's in the whole look game. look it up. There's a reason we can look things up. Maybe we're supposed to wait till the guards go up, hit the hatch, and then we um, jump through the hatch and go out. Let's open the hatch and then send him over this way. I was almost... Here, wait, wait a second. I was wondering if we could possess their bulletproof armor. Probably. And maybe there's something over there that we could be like, Jawed Rod now! Or... That probably. You know what? That's exactly it. Yeah, yeah, we gotta, yeah, wait, yeah, for, for, we gotta yeah. wait for one of them to get closer. So we have to die now. No, no. We have to wait for one of them to get closer. That's as close as he's gonna get, though. No, it's not. Then you hit Ghost again. It's he's farther away. To get closer. No, he's... That's farther away. He's getting closer. That's farther gonna, away, gonna... Marty. Now that's farther away. That was farther away before. Where is he going? He's going up he's... there. There's a staircase. He can see you on the stairs, apparently. That's what it is. So we can actually be seen for whatever dumb reason. Okay, that's really bizarre. It said we were... Okay, so it says after you lead him to the top, shut the trap door and lead him to the trap door and he'll get out. That's really dumb. Hang on. So I'll save it there. Let's go back here. Lead him to the trap door. Like to the valve? Watch a video of someone doing it. That'll be more... If I open this hatch now, Detective Jowd would fall onto the stairs and roll right down to the bottom. Come on! They're about to catch him! Alright, I, I guess I have to. Because this if FAQ is not this, helping me. I ended up falling down there and rolling down the stairs. I wouldn't stop rolling until I ended up in my cell. There he is. Come on, Jowd is just an absolute idiot. It is. Oh, are you serious? Wait. Okay, if this is what I think it is, then this is the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> That's how everything is, though, when you broke. It might be you have to make him climb up out of the hatch on the right side, and if you do it on the left side, you're just screwed. Oh, okay. Then he'll hang go on, back. Hang on, I'm still checking. Oh, oh, wait. Hang on. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, no, we're doing it wrong. Okay, so back to... Two. S back to two, yeah. All right, this is really stupid. Uh, is Jowd in the bed now? He's under, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... Right now there's the bell going on, and then there's that guy. Okay, so move back to the bell. Mm -hmm. Ring it. Okay, so this is... We actually were doing a roll. 
but uh, I'm still gonna call it is stupid. All right, so what we have to do now, we gotta close this. Uh, wait a little bit, we need to possess his bulletproof armor and he'll walk to far down the hallway. Oh. But it's still really, really dumb that as soon as he climbs out of the hatch, he won't climb back won't in. Climb because back then, you, he, because that's the right way to go is to climb back down. But he'll be like, yeah. no. So I'm calling stupid on that. All right. So we're in this go guy's cell, and now, yeah, Open you see, hatch. we're down here. So now we'll say, Jowd, get over here. And he's gonna roll what? all the way down this hallway. That's that's stupid. It's not stupid. It's just stupid that's that he dumb. won't climb back down. Okay, so now... We have to open the hatch. Oh, play the drum. We're gonna have to open the hatch and drop the guy for it. So play the drum. And drop him for the hatch. Uh, before we do anything, we need to make sure that the other guard isn't coming back. Oh, yeah. Don't push the ghost button. We can't move the camera if you push the ghost button. He's nowhere to good, be good, 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 good. Okay. So close the hatch. Or no, no, no! Don't close the hatch. Make uh, make Jowd move. To the to, to the, the hatch. hatch. To the hatch. Jowd, move to the guitar then. Only works if you pick the guitar. I don't want to move. If I move now, I'm going to fall. Could you close the hatch for me? All right. No, no, no! They're on the guitar. Don't play the guitar. <laughs> Jowd is over <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now make him run to the bed. What? There he is! That's stupid! <laughs> this is why I made an extra save state. Oh my gosh. Yeah, really stupid, am I right? Huh? I, I wonder like how it's what like this a could be. Drum sound is just like. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. See, even I get. See, yep. even you okay, get that's true. You're just in the mood. All right, and this time we're gonna wait for the other guy to fall through the hatch. Oh. Yeah, he's coming. He's walking back. Oh, sweet. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> I basically picture this as like when they see him. <laughs> it's Marty Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, me. <baby. laughs> Wow. All the dogs, uh, <laughs> go on top of them. Alright. Run to the bed. So what do you think? I'd say that was a really stupid puzzle. But if we've come this far, we did it. Great job, Sizzle. You still get cat. Anyway. The basement generator has been repaired. Restoring power to all areas. Guy found his wrench without our help. Are you gonna move? <laughs> Whoa, we just made it. But the question is, what now? I don't have anywhere to go, do I? Maybe I'll go back to my cell. Y you better be kidding. But I'm still a condemned criminal, you know. I doubt anybody'd welcome me with open arms. Why don't you try contacting Lynn? She went to see some justice minister guy. So an escaped death row convict is supposed to just report into the justice minister? Is that it? Hmm, I kind of like that. Af anyway, after all the trouble you went through, I guess I'd better run. That would be nice, yes. Alright, Sissel, until we meet again. There we go. So I've saved a condemned criminal's life and helped him escape. Was that really the right thing to do? I guess all I can do is believe in Lynn at this point. Detective Jowd was, a painting in, uh, was painting a picture in his cell. He knows me. I'm sure I'll be talking to him again. Trick time. Go back to Bailey's room. Please. I mean, you have to, because we have to use the telephone to get out of here. Guard room. God, he's still dancing. But Detective Jowd's Until We Meet Again came around quicker than I expected. When I got back to the guard room, the next fateful call came in. Hello, this is... 
Sissel, are you there? Hello, who's this? Oh, I'm not talking to you, officer. Anyway, if you're there, Sissel, come here immediately. I'll be waiting for you, if you make it in time, that is. What? Where'd he go? Hey, wait a minute. Trace complete. We got a new phone number! KMR3243. Oh, talk, yes, yes. That call! Who was it from? I don't know, some weird call. Ah, but who will call an end to my dancing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, once you get going like that, I'm not gonna stop you. It's a contest then! Which will stop first, my dancing or the turning of the planet? <laughs> That's <laughs> what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> External line? Let's go to that new place, shall we? KMR free two four free. <laughs> Chow, did you get caught two seconds after we saved you? Yes. Ooh. Moon is lovely tonight. On the other end of the telephone line, the scene that greets me tells me one simple fact. Good music. What? Come on! That our great escape plan has ended in failure. Never expected to see you here, Inspector Cabanella. I believe that's my line, my old friend. What were you doing here? I believe that's my line too, clearly. I came to attend your execution. They told me what time it was. Yeah, you're really late. Couldn't get it into the chamber, so I was observing a moment of silence here. And when I looked up, my eyes full of tears. There you were, baby. It's just the way things turned out. I took part in what seemed like a fun game, and here I am. Here's what I wish, my old friend. Wish it was anybody but me who found you here. Because now that I found you, man, I have to turn you in. You have to stay spotlessly clean, after all. Trick time. Oh, let's possess the gun and shoot it. <laughs> That's a great idea. There's a certain something between these two. Is it a warm something, or is it cold? Whatever it is, it's immeasurably deep. I should probably see what Detective Jowd has to say. Oh, we can't possess anything here except... Thanks for coming. I wanted to say goodbye to you. As you can see, I guess I'm not going to be much help to you. What's going to happen to you? Being executed tonight is just about the only thing on my <laughs> schedule, it seems. Executed, huh? Death is pretty much meaningless to me. Anyway, I guess we'll be seeing each other again. By the way, there's something I'm looking for. Oh, that's right. Your lost memory. You know things I'd like to know. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? In return for tonight's fun little game, is that it? About Sissel. I saw it, you know. That picture you were painting in your cell tonight. That was me. Which means you must know me. I'm very sorry, but I can't talk to you about that now. W what Why not? Because I... I don't know your true face. My true face? I'm a detective. I can only talk about what I'm sure of. However, I can give you one lead at least. A lead? What is it? A long time ago, I gave Lin something to hold on to for me. It was a music box. If you ever come across it, I advise you to open it. It might jog your memory. That wooden box I found in Lin's apartment. And that's about the only thing I can give you right now. About Cabanella. That man pointing the gun at you right now, they say he's your good friend. We were when we were in the detective division together. That was a long time ago. Now he's head of Special Investigation Unit, the top of the elite. Getting ahead is the only thing he thinks about now. And that white coat of his is the symbol of his determination. His white coat? For somebody looking to get promoted to the top, what's the one thing they're most afraid of? A blot on their record, of course. Like a stain on a pure white coat. Who would promote a man with a coat covered in stains? If it was me, I'd go with a black coat that didn't show the stains. <laughs> The world is full of excellent candidates. Even one mistake could be the end of a career. But everybody makes mistakes, right? Nevertheless, Cabanella has chosen the path of the white coat. And he'd do anything, 
anything at all to hide his coat's shadows. So he's a little bit like Von Karma, maybe. But... I won for 40 like, years! I like, am the greatest prosecutor! <laughs> we talk about him so much now at this point. <laughs> Von Karma, yeah. Or more like Gant, in my opinion. I've always thought that... Like, oh, Cabanel and Gant. Cabanel's kind of, kind of similar But just without the creepy stare. Yeah. And more swagger. Yeah. <laughs> and he takes disco lessons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, send his good friend to the gallows. Because that's the right thing to do. I'm a condemned criminal, after all. And that's why he has that gun pointed at me right now. Execution. Is your execution really the right thing to do? I had a fair trial, and that's what was decided. No problem there. But still, this is the punishment that I should receive, in order to bring a final close to that case and put it to rest forever. Lynn believes you're innocent. She's running around right now trying to prove it. Is that all you have to leave her with? No problem there? I... I was sentenced to the death penalty for killing my wife, Alma. But to me, that's not all it was for. What do you mean, that's not all it was for? I'm talking about something that happened even before this case. I stole somebody else's life. Wh what? Okay. The other murder? It was ten years ago. I'll never forget it. That day, I saved the life of a little girl. And I stole away the life of a man. Ten years ago, the life of a little girl... Could that little girl be... Lynn? She told you about that? Yeah, she said you were her hero. Now just calm down and drop that weapon! S stay back! I if you come any closer, I'll shoot her! Ten years ago, in a certain park, a little girl was taken hostage. I was still young then, I didn't have any self-control. I remember asking myself at the time, Jowd, are you going to shoot this guy? And this is what I answered. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. I mean... Yeah. In a life of self-defense, or defense for another person, like... It, it's never easy to tell. Mm -hmm. My hand was shaking a little. If my hand slipped, the man might die. Even the little hostage girl was in danger. Nevertheless, that was my answer. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. And the man died. I took his life. Lynn was never told the outcome. She was so young at the time. I don't deserve to be called a hero. What I deserve is... Execution. That's what he believes, though. Yeah. Ready to go? My arms are getting tired. You got it, baby! Time for the big show of hauling you in. Oh, that's right. Just let me make one last phone call. That's a big favor to ask so casually, my old friend. Tell you what I'll do. I'll pretend I'm not watching. I'll be listening, though. On that, you can rely. Sizzle, you've got your own path to follow. You'd better hurry. My own path? Lynn is at the Justice Minister's office right now, right? It might not be a bad idea to say my final farewell to him, too. Hello? Everything's fine here! Is this the chicken kitchen? I'd like to request a delivery. Um... The chicken kitchen's next door! Goodbye! She didn't recognize his voice? Come on! <laughs> oh, I shut it down. Is this the chicken kitchen? I need to finish an order. Hmm. Sounds like she's in some kind of trouble. It does, doesn't it? Go help her out, would you, Sissel? Meanwhile, Cabanel's like, what? <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, Inspector. Ready to go. Oh, before I forget... I have a little something for you. It's a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> Dane, he's got style. What's that? 
A present, if you will. There's nothing else like it, baby. If there's nothing else like it, don't throw it. What's this? A pocket watch? Considering my situation, it's the last thing in the world I need right now. Forgive me, man. Let's just say I'm no good at choosing presents. This is it, Sissel. Let me just leave one you with one thing. Don't trust other people's memories. Look for what you seek with your own eyes. I'll remember that. <laughs> They're gone. There's nothing left here. No hope and no cores either. Without any cores, I can't follow after them. This is the end of my adventure. I feel pretty dejected, but I guess I'd better tr go find Lin. I'll follow the path Detective Jowd pointed out to me. The path to the Justice Minister's office, where Lin went to try and stop the execution. Cool! That took longer than I expected. Oh, and by the way, this is the worst puzzle in the game. We're about to do the second worst, though. <laughs> okay. It, I'll just say, it's... It's the one death in the whole game where you can get, a, like, a fate change to, like, checkpoint after it's already too late to save the person. Great! <laughs> so, yeah! That's yeah. why you can do the from the beginning thing. Yep. That's it for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to next time. We'll, well, well uh, it's a, it's a, gonna be uncomfortable. <laughs> look Bye. forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless. Watch the Justice Minister worry. It's like here I'm here to see the Justice Minister. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, He's like blood, blood. blood! <laughs>